And yesterday, we have the upset of the year in college basketball. It's only November, and we're getting March Madness in November. It's a nutty November. Kansas went down, Kentucky went down, and now Duke loses yesterday to SF Austin, and they were a 27 and a half point favorite in that game. They hadn't lost a game at home to a non-conference opponent since 2000. 150 straight wins against non-conference opponents in Cameron Indoor Stadium. Now they've won zero consecutive games against non-conference opponents at home. It was a wild game throughout. SF Austin came to play. They take it to overtime. It's 83-83. Duke has the basketball. You know they're going to win, right? You know Duke, they had that scare. They're going to finish him off at home. And then Nathan Bain happened. Last night, Nathan was the bane of the Blue Devils' existence. And what I love about the play was, one, you got that tenacious defense to cause that turnover. And two, it's a race against time to get that layup up. Most players would have shot a desperate heave, a floater. He shoots that layup, and they get the win. Here's the Lumberjacks hero right after the game. Man, it's just, I'm trying real hard not to get emotional. You know, my family lost a whole lot this year. I'm not gonna cry on TV. My family lost a whole lot this year. And uh, no, I just, I'm just playing this game for them, you know? Just playing for my SFA family, my family back home in the Bahamas. You know, I, was, I just want to make my country proud. And my whole team that's behind me, my other two seniors, you know, John cramped out, but he was giving us energy. He won't provide the spark, you know, the team effort. You know, when everything happened all early inside the year, you know, they had my back, and I just wanted to return the favor. Now, there's a great story. Bain's family in the Bahamas, they lost absolutely everything. They had a Category 5 hurricane with Hurricane Dorian. They lost everything, and before the game, he had a GoFundMe set up for months now. They had about $2,000 in donations. As of right now, there's over $72,000 in that GoFundMe, people are stepping up. It's a beautiful story for Nathan Bain. You gotta love that. And the Duke Blue Devils, they took that L last night. Coach K gave all the credit to SF Austin after the game. Graduate Stephen F. Austin. I mean, they, uh, they were better, bottom line. You know, they were <clears throat> tougher than we were. Um, they played with great poise, and uh, and we helped them. I mean, uh, you, you can't give up 64 points in the paint. We don't even give up 64 points. And we gave up so many layups. Um, and then you go 11 for 24 from the foul line in the second half. It's just a recipe to lose. And uh, that, so we weren't, you know, we weren't deserving of winning. That team was deserving of winning. and they So give Coach K credit. He steps up. He takes that L. And I'm just saying, John Wooden is not losing to a 27.5 point underdog at home as the number one team in the country. So let's put this whole best coach of all time debate to rest. But you're going to start to see this in college basketball because you saw last night you have a team like SF Austin, a team that has senior-laden, juniors, a lot of experience. They have chemistry, and they're going against these teams that have won in Dunners, a lot of 18- and 19-year-old blue-chip future NBA prospects, and teams are going to pull off these upsets. One of my favorite things after the game is when UMBC, the team that beat, was the first team ever to upset a number one. They did it a couple years ago when they beat Virginia. They tweet them SFA MBB. You up? SFA basketball responds, just hanging out. What about you? Hashtag raise the axe. Hashtag axe them. And then Evansville basketball chimed in. Remember, they upset Duke a couple years ago. It says, asterisk, Evansville has entered the chat. Oh, hey, guys, what's up? So I love it. It was a crazy night.
nine college basketball, one of the biggest upsets you're ever going to see. The last time that Duke lost at home to a non-conference team 19 years ago, the starting lineup for Duke, you had Jay Williams, Chris Carwell, Nate James, Shane Battier, and Carlos Boozer. So it's been a minute, but Duke goes down. I still think they're going to have a great season. And by the way, what was Coach K drawing? I don't know if you saw that picture, but he was scribbling something. I don't know what that was. It looked like he was drawing a turkey for Thanksgiving or drawing a banana. I have no idea. Maybe it was a play called the Rorschach, but that play obviously did not get it done. But Duke's going to be fine. They're going to have a great season. I see them going deep in the NCAA tournament. But these upper echelon teams, you have been put on notice. You're not untouched touchable anymore you're going to see more upsets like this in the future thanks for watching the get more sports youtube channel my name is doug mccain you can follow me at dmac underscore la and for all the hottest sports content in the game be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification button and most importantly give me all your takes on all of today's topics right down below in the comment section i want all your takes on today's topic right down below in the comment section. And for all the greatest in the world of sports, head over to GetMoreSports.com.